background isn't the best, okay? Get over it. It's all I could afford. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to apply falsies. Falsies are false lashes, if you don't know what that means. So I just am going to share a little bit of my tips and tricks and little things I've picked up along the way as far as applying lashes. I wear lashes every single day. Why? Because my lashes suck. They go down, they don't curl. If you know me, you know that story. Like, I hate my lashes. But thankfully, there is makeup to fix everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the the ways and the trips. <laughs> trips. I'm going to show you guys the tricks I do and I use for applying lashes. So if you guys do want to keep watching and do want to learn how I do it, I not everybody else, me, please keep on watching. Hope it helps. You know you are a California girl when you have Starbucks cups as your water cups. First of all, I'm gonna be telling you what lashes I'm gonna be doing, well, on myself today. And these are the Velour lashes. I tucked them, I've always talked about them, like my whole life, because I feel like these are just such good quality lashes. If I can just get them out of the box. Okay. So I'm using the Velour, they're mink lashes. If you are think if you don't know about lashes and their quality, mink lashes are probably one of the best quality lashes. A lot of brands have mink lashes, a lot of them have synthetic, you know, there's a lot of them. So I if I were you, if you want to invest in some really good lashes that are gonna last you so long and they are gonna just really how would I explain that? Like you can reuse the, the you can reuse these so many times like so i am not kidding you being dramatic i probably can use these up to 30 40 50 times if you know how to clean them properly another good quality lash that i would definitely recommend if you are on a budget is the ardell lashes you can find those at any drugstore like target walmart cvs like those kind of places i will link put the name down below but Ardell lashes are really nice and if you want to go more of a natural side, they have the Demi Wispies. Those are my favorite like everyday lashes if I'm just going to go like with a natural look or you can get the Wispies. Okay. So there is two different types of lashes. I'm sorry, these are super dirty. But you see how this band right here on this lash, I'm like cross-eyed right now, it's all attached. Like there's no like little gaps here. This is what we call a full band. This is kind of a little bit more tricky to apply because of the band it can look a little bit more noticeable if you do not know how to apply your lashes i like to use the ones that like this one which is basically it just has like separations here at the very top it's not all completely one full band i don't know if you guys can see that or if i'm making sense if you guys want your lashes to look more natural i would recommend going with the, these spaced out bands here because i i you know full bands are, are cool and they're nice but they are sometimes so stiff that when you apply them they just kind of like, they're moving all over the place, and when they have little separations in them, they're a bit more flexible to put in your eye. So that that's one tip. Exactly how they are set is how they are going to go on your eyes. So if you just grab them out like this, like, away from, like, not like this. They don't go this one here, that one there. It's actually, you have to flip around. This one is going to go on this side, and this one is going to go on this side. All lashes come like that, and that's how you do it. Okay, so when it comes to removing the lashes, what I like to do is I grab my little tweezers here from Anastasia. These are some, if you're looking for some really good tweezers, I definitely recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. These are amazing. Taking out the lashes from the box, I like to only grab it from the outer end here. Never grab it from the inside, okay? Because the inside, you just don't want to mess with that, okay? Always grab things from the outside. So when you remove it, try to, these are really stuck on there. So, just try to remove them very carefully. And once you get that little corner popped off, maybe I should bring it closer. I'm just going to move it from the outside, and boom, it all just comes out. Just like that. That's how you remove your eyelashes from the box. Another thing, when you apply your lashes, sorry if the lighting's going to be so off right here, make sure that your mirror is down, not straight across. Because if your mirror is like right in your face, when you go in with a lash, you, this top part of your eye is just going to get in the way. You're not going to be able to go in. So make sure that your mirror is down at an angle. And then you have room. You have a lot of room to apply the lash. So make sure your mirror is down here. Not up here. Okay? Got it? Good. Since my mirror is down, I'm just going to coat my lashes like 
just one coat. Make sure you get all of them. So when it comes to just curling the lashes, you don't want them to be too, too curly, okay? Because if you have them too curly, when you go in with the lash, it's just going to get in the way. So let's just not let's just avoid the difficulties. So when you curl them, just get, the, get them at least where they're kind of upward, okay? They don't have to be super curly because if they are super curly, when you go in with the lash, it's just going to be like bothering you and you can't really get it in, okay? Make sure you are not touching your eyeliner because if you do touch uh, your eyelash curler with eyelash curler with your eyeliner, it will remove the liner. And if it does, you can always go back. It's no big deal, but just just, just try to avoid it. So, like you can see here, like it's just like I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm sorry if you can't, but it's just a very very slight curl. It's not too crazy. It's just it's just to bring them up a little bit because you don't want to have that beautiful eyelash curl with the fake ones and then just like straight down. Okay? Okay. This is a topic a lot of people hate me for. I'm not gonna lie. But I cannot stand the duo glue. I hate it so much. It smells like fish. Am I the only one who thinks that? Okay, and I have it here because I want you guys to see. This is the most hyped glue and the one that almost everyone uses. First of all, it takes forever to dry. I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. It takes forever to dry. It smells disgusting. It's a complete mess. Like, wh like, why do you have to squeeze out the glue? Because if you squeeze it even just a little too much, it's just gonna, like, explode over your eyelash. And it's just like, fuck my life. So, don't use this glue. What are you doing with your life? Just toss it out. R.I.P. I'm sorry if you use it and I'm, like, totally crushing you, but... I'm only so mad about it because I've had the worst experience with it when I first started off putting lashes. And now it's like we are enemies. We can't even see each other. There is a glue that works amazing. It's so easy to apply. It does not make a mess. It dries instantly. It's clear. It's amazing. I love it. And I totally 100% recommend it. I have never had an issue with my eyelashes falling off popping out kind of like about a, where they just pop out of your eye you know i've never had that issue with this one this glue is from lashes in a box you can get it obviously at lashes in a box it's pretty simple but this glue is amazing first of all first off the dual glue you know have to squeeze it out and it's just a mess this one is amazing because all it is is a, it comes with the wand so you can just coat the band of the lashes so easily it's a dream. Okay, so first things first, you want to measure it to your eye. So, every time you are putting on your eyelashes, make sure it's not touching you so far in in this inner corner. Because when you, if it's so close to your inner corner, when you blink or just anything or like you sneeze or anything, if you have it so far in in your corner, it's literally going to pop off really quick. You kind of want to just leave it a little bit more towards the outside you kind of want to have maybe like a centimeter of that little space so when you blink or squeeze your eyes really hard for any reason where you flinch it doesn't pop off right in the inner corner so having it a little bit more just a little bit more far out is really really going to help make sure also when the band you do not want this to happen you see that you see this right here it kind of just goes down. This is going to make your eyes look super droopy and tired. You actually want to just leave it right where your natural eyelash line at the end like stops. Don't go so far out because then like, it just makes your eyes look tired and it's not a cute look. So we're going to go ahead and just measure that out. You see how it's not so close in here. And we're going to get rid of that extra. Go ahead and cut a little bit off the edge anytime you cut your eyelash never cut it from the inner corner because you always want your lash to start from short all the way too long if you cut it from the inner corner it's just gonna make the lash look weird because there's gonna be all of a sudden long hair like from start to finish you want to make it look natural and gradually grow out so always cut from the outer corner slowly you don't want to be too crazy with it and cut too much lash because then you're gonna mess them up so once again I'm going to measure that to my eye. 
And see right there? That's kind of where my eyelash, my natural eyelash even stops there too. So right there, that's just perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the glue. Just coat it very lightly. And this eyelash glue dries pretty fast. So it's not like the duo glue. Ugh. It, like all you need is five ten seconds and what helps is if it's so if the band is so straight if if you kind of do this to it it's going to go ahead and curl it a little bit so just do a little do a little dance here it's the curve of the lashes the easier it is to apply okay now grabbing those tweezers i just gave it five ten seconds to dry i'm going to go in and you want to get it as close as you can to your lash line that way it looks nice and natural you don't want to have it so far up what is this anyway so I like to apply it kind of in the middle here and then I just want to pull it down you always want to make sure you want to align it with the end of your lash never start up in here in here I'm sorry always start kind of like on the outer side and then once the outer side is kind of where you want it to be then you just push it in see how I'm looking down on my mirror I'm not looking up or straight across right in front of me I'm looking down because that way I have all that room to go in and apply the lash so just start pressing it in push it into the eye now just because the eyelashes are applied does not mean we are done so I don't know if you guys can see I'm gonna go ahead and get real close I don't know if you guys can see that when I look down you can probably see like that clear residue there or like the because this is a new lash you can see even like the band where it's like clear and what i like to do this is like my little secret weapon is i go in with a you can use liquid too whatever you have works but i'm gonna go in with my ink liner from kat von d and i am literally just going to put this right on top of the that band to hide that clear residue and make it blend in more into my eyeliner and my eye so just go ahead and tap this on obviously if you can still kind of tell it's fine but it's gonna it's gonna be way better than just um having that super noticeable as it was earlier so for the lashes that is it Honestly, I don't even want to look in the mirror when I don't have makeup on. But when I do, I'm like, slay, bitch. Slay. <laughs> okay. So, now I'm going to stop talking and go to work. Because somebody has got to pay the bills, right? 